Guess what, guys? It's time for more McFarlane construction sets! A ton more! Look at these things! Holy crap! Let's jump straight in and check out the construction sets based on Five Nights at Freddy's 2. First off, we have Toy Chica with the right air vent. Before I start, I just want to mention a little issue I have with this set. This is the wrong air vent. Toy Chica actually comes in on the left. This isn't a big problem though, if you get both vent sets, you could just switch them yourself, no biggie. Check out Chica though, she's really accurate! She's got the black eyes, the endo teeth, the under... the... underwear... It feels a little weird calling it that. <laughs> Buildable set includes the scary cute Toy Chica figure. Well, you definitely got that right, McFarland. Toy Chica is the definition of scary cute. Oh wait, I wonder if Baby took that place. Popping open the box and flipping through the manual, I found this little gem. I like this. Let's take a look at our little figure. So it seems she's changed her hairdo a bit from the game, but- Oh. Oh. Uh. Chica. <laughs> the bald look doesn't suit you. This is a pretty cool feature, though. I like how this can be moved. And, of course, I love removing their head and showing off that endo. The vent itself looks great as well. I really like adding the stickers. And this string of wires is a great topper. Now let's check out the other air vent set. This one includes the adorable Toy Bonnie. He also looks very accurate. Let's read the back of the box. Set includes the adorably- Hey wait a second, I literally just called him adorable a moment ago. I guess that really is the best way to describe him. <laughs> also there probably should be a space between the word the and adorably. Let's get this set put together. And there we go! Now if you have both vent sets, you could just switch Chica and Bonnie. Oh, and looky what I found in the instructions! Woo! Up next are the sets that are based off of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. First off, Phantom Freddy and Arcade Cabinet. Buildable set includes the spine-tingling Phantom Freddy. I really like the fact that he's missing his leg here. A lot of casual FNAF fans probably wouldn't even know he's missing a leg. But from what we've seen in FNAF 3, he does seem to be lacking the lower half. Notice the withering here on his right, and the single frame of his walking animation. Seems like he really is missing a leg. Oh sweet, check this out, you can actually see Phantom Chica in the arcade screen. And another FNAF 2 poster. We also get to decorate this arcade with stickers, which I'm terrible at. Now that we have that all put together, let's take a look at the next one. Here we have Phantom Foxy in the camo wait hallway. Foxy looks absolutely fantastic! Check out that withering. The cords hanging out in the endo. Plus he's missing his arm, and he's got that little stub. The way his head is tilted and his mouth is open reflects Foxy from the game very well. In fact, this might be my favorite one so far. We also get this FNAF 1 Chica head. Wonder how she compares to the show stage Chica. Spooky! It's really cool that this head can be worn on the other figures, just like any of the others. I am really happy that's the case. Check out this wall gunk. And there we go, Phantom Foxy looking good. Now for one of the larger sets, the security office with Springtrap. Some of you may know already, but Springtrap is my favorite character, so I'm gonna have pretty high expectations for this. Springtrap himself doesn't look too bad, although it would have been cooler for him to have endoskeleton feet, and probably a shorter snout. There's also no sign of purple guy either, but in general this figure isn't too bad. At least he's missing one of his ears, unlike Adventure Springtrap. And the detail on his arms look really fantastic. The heads that come with the office are really awesome. All of them are wearable, and I appreciate that. Strangely enough, Chica and Bonnie are both missing their eyebrows, and Bonnie's the only one with upper teeth. That aside though, these really add a lot to this set. Alongside the heads, we also get these little pieces to put into the box. I smell a salvage brewing in the future. Altogether, this set is really cool. Better than I thought it would be, actually. And of course, it was a lot of fun to put together. Now that we have that finished, let's move on to FNAF 4. Are you ready for fun with Balloon Boy? Yeah, I don't think I am either. It was probably the scariest thing in FNAF 4, which still terrifies me. I gotta say, this figure is super hilarious. The long arms and puny legs. I'm not saying this is inaccurate, I just love it. This figure is super funny and awesome, I'm glad it exists. This set altogether looks very nice, and I give it a 10 out of 10. Up next is your worst nightmare, along with the right haul. <laughs> wow, I really like this figure. Check out those feet and his stomach mouth. And his head looks amazing as well. He's got those eye wires and loads of teeth. 
Unlike the last set, I got a different FNAF 2 poster this time. Nightmare looks fantastic and creepy standing beside the table, and the lamp that decides to make an appearance in Sister Location. Just another awesome set from McFarlane. Next, we have a really, really cool set. The Closet with Nightmare Mangle. Holy cow, just look at her. I mean, him. Um, <laughs> to make things easier, I'll just call Mangle a female for now. Scott just loves to make us all confused. But really, she looks fantastic. The endo is a total mess. And Mangle's head is really beat up and worn. The endo head looks terrifying. This is such a cool figure. The closet also looks fantastic. The doors even work, too. Plus, we get this adorable little foxy plushie. And now, for our final set, the bed. With Nightmare Freddy and the Freddles. The Nightmare Freddy figure looks very spooky. I like his claws and all the withering. An interesting thing I forgot to mention about Nightmare is that they both have teeth that go all the way around to the back of their heads. That's pretty cool. Here's the set completed, with the three little Freddles and the Freddy plush. Once again, another awesome set. There are so many new construction sets from McFarlane, it's insane. I bet you guys can guess what I want them to make next. I would love to have an Ennard in the new private room as a set. Basically anything sister location would be awesome. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys, it's been unbelievable how much support you've been giving me lately. I hope my videos don't disappoint. More theory, drawing, and cosplay videos coming in the future. I hope you all have an awesome night. Goodbye!